The biggest and most potent rocket ever constructed, SpaceX's Starship, was nearly destroyed during its return to Earth after its third test flight. SpaceX has finally launched its Starship for the third test flight. How will it go? What events happened during this flight? What was the reaction of SpaceX's team on this? For all this amazing information, we are here again. But before starting the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you are new to it and hit the bell icon so you will never miss updates in the future. Let's dive into the video. On Thursday, the SpaceX Starship launched into orbit and completed a round of the globe before exploding over the Indian Ocean. NASA has decided to put men on the moon one day, and this is the most successful demonstration of the vehicle to date. The spacecraft achieved several significant milestones that were heralded as critical steps towards helping SpaceX master the art of flying, the largest and most powerful rocket in the world, even if it did not survive re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. Launched from SpaceX's Spaceport Star Facility on the Gulf of Mexico in Boca Chica, Texas, the 120-meter system weighs around 5,000 tons when fully fueled. The spacecraft's cruise vessel completed a round of the Earth for the first time, but contact was lost when it approached the atmosphere in the last moments of the test. Minutes later, the ship was getting close to its scheduled arrival into the Indian Ocean, something SpaceX had never expected to recover. Presumably, during re-entry, it burnt up or broke apart. During this situation, SpaceX's Dan Huot said, The ship has been lost, so no splashdown today. Elon Musk said on X, his social media platform, SpaceX has come a long way. The spacecraft's 33-engine booster, known as Super Heavy, and the cruise ship, which can eventually accommodate up to 100 astronauts, both exploded during the first two attempts at launching. When stacked, they are 10 meters taller than the 1969 Saturn V rocket that carried humans to the moon. The rocket reached a speed of over 16,000 miles per hour during its voyage, which was sufficient to put the spacecraft into an orbit around the Earth. Rather, above the Indian Ocean, SpaceX gave the order for the spacecraft to re-enter the atmosphere. It failed to survive after colliding with a thickening atmosphere, producing heat of almost 2,600 degrees Fahrenheit. As it started to tumble as it descended back to Earth over the Gulf of Mexico, the rocket was also lost. Nevertheless, it was by far the most successful Starship trip. It is incredible to see how much further we got this time around, stated SpaceX spokesman Dan Huot. Several primary engines failed before liftoff and more failed as the aircraft ascended during the inaugural flight in April 2023. Debris flew into the Texas coastline as the rocket's force destroyed its launch pad. Concerned about the large rocket's potential effects on the surrounding area, environmentalists filed a lawsuit as a result. In preparation for the second flight, SpaceX upgraded the rocket's engines and added a water dilute system to the pad which reduced blast force. The car successfully separated into its stages and the engines of the top stages started operating. The phrase quickly cascading to a rapid, unscheduled disassembly is used by SpaceX to characterize the loss of a vehicle. However, when the booster began to burn 13 of its engines to propel the rocket down to Earth, one engine failed. Its automatic onboard flight termination system destroyed the spacecraft, resulting in its loss after a leak caused a fire. The third flight test attempted several ambitious goals such as the successful ascent burn of both stages, the opening and closing of Starship's payload door, a propellant transfer demonstration during the upper stages coast phase, the first ever relighting of a Raptor engine in space, and a controlled re-entry of Starship. The test also aimed to build on the knowledge gained from previous flights. Additionally, Starship was supposed to crash into the Indian Ocean as part of a modified flight path. We can try novel tactics like in-space engine burns with this new flight path, all while ensuring public safety. All of SpaceX's significant breakthroughs such as Falcon, Dragon and Starlink have been made possible by this fast iterative development process. To develop a fully reusable transportation system that can support human habitation on the moon, deliver crew and cargo into Earth orbit and eventually to Mars and beyond, recursive improvement is crucial. The third went on for over 50 minutes. Compared to NASA, SpaceX has a far higher risk tolerance and a flight testing method that often pushes its spaceship prototypes to the edge and beyond. According to the business, conducting regular flight tests will yield crucial data that will aid in the design and development of a more resilient rocket. Before the third launch attempt, SpaceX said, each of these flight tests continues to be just that, a test in an apparent attempt to manage expectations in case the system exploded. They aren't occurring in a lab or on a test stand, but are putting flight hardware in a flight environment to maximize learning. 
Among the various tests carried out during the third mission were the opening of a payload door and an internal fuel transfer while in orbit. It will be far less expensive to reuse the upper and lower segments of Starship than to develop brand new components for every voyage if they can eventually power themselves down to Earth for a gentle landing. Following the flight, SpaceX's inquiry was overseen by the Federal Aviation Administration, which announced in February that it had approved the company's findings. Consequently, the FAA mandated that SpaceX execute 17 remedial procedures, including hardware redesigns, modifications to engine control algorithms, and the implementation of fire safety protocols. Musk aspires for Starship to be the first step on a historically unprecedented human space expedition. He claims that Starship was created for mankind to one day become a multiplanetary species. Musk wants to do this by starting the colonization of Mars to prepare humanity for the possibility of a catastrophic event on Earth like an asteroid impact or a takeover by sentient AI. Although that deadline is probably going to be pushed out, NASA has hired SpaceX to put astronauts including the first woman on the moon as early as 2026. For upcoming testing, several additional Starship systems are already under production. In a statement released on X, Bill Nelson, the head of NASA, commended SpaceX for a successful test flight. No matter how Thursday's test turns out, it appears that Starship is still a long way from being fully functional. According to Musk, the rocket should complete hundreds of unmanned flights before launching its first crew members. Musk had previously stated that Starship's entire development cost might range from 2 to 10 billion dollars. The anticipated cost of each launch is in the tens of millions of dollars. The business gets revenue from both, launching humans to the International Space Station and smaller rockets to deploy satellites. Longer plans to deploy the ship as a shuttle for commercial Earth travel have been revealed, with the promise of less than an hour's journey time between London and Tokyo. I hope you liked the video. Now let us know what you think about SpaceX's third test flight. Are you waiting for the IFT4 now? Let us know in the comments section below. And don't forget to give our video a thumbs up. Also, if you are a SpaceX fan, then must watch the next video lined up here for you on our channel. You will find it interesting.